Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston and this is the final tutorial for the car program. Now I know I got real uh, deep into the logic and the coding of this. We got over 200 lines into this program and it got confusing uh, at parts, probably really confusing, confusing uh, for some of you. So uh, this is going to be the final video because I don't want to keep confusing you even more. And after this, we're going to go back to some of the more core subjects of Visual Basic instead of making a specific application. Now, if you remember my Create Car sub right here, it wasn't the best made, but it worked and hopefully it gets the concept across to you guys about how to work with objects, uh, how to store objects, use inheritance and polymorphism. Um, you learn the with keyword and a whole bunch of stuff. Sorry, I had to pause there for a second. But anyways, you're going to be learning, you learn a whole bunch of stuff about inheritance, polymorphism, um, using objects, array lists, and stuff like that. So, if this didn't confuse you too much, uh, then I'm going to challenge you guys to expand on this program, um, add some stuff with the truck and the sports car, and you can add buttons here that will get different information about the car, and let you set values of the car or the truck and create new forms for like new car, new sports car, new truck and stuff like that and um, if you can do that and if you want to do that then go ahead and leave it down in one of the video responses so that we can take a look at the program you've made um, sorry I'm kinda just like dropping out of this program right now but I got all the stuff across that I wanted to teach you and I don't want to drag it on for too long so if you want to work on it you can so let's just do um, one more final demo of this so we can create a new car. Let's create a truck. We'll click new car. We got the name of our truck. So we'll do uh, Dodge Ram. We'll set the color of the truck to red. We'll give it for two doors. And we'll set the horsepower to 300. And we'll click add. Now we can show the info about this. Uh, we can do a whole bunch of other stuff. We can show the info about these cars we can set values of this so uh, we can make it orange we can accelerate by let's say 45 miles per hour and we can show the info and it updates that now um, we cannot get the power to weight ratio uh, because it is not a sports car so what I'm challenging you guys to do is disable this button unless they have selected a sports car um, so that they can't they won't get any errors and then we can add more trucks. We can add a sports car. The name of the sports car to, um, we'll do a Challenger, even though that's like more of a muscle car. We'll make it blue. We'll give it two doors, and we'll give it 400 horsepower. We'll click Add, and we can get the power to weight ratio. Uh, we can change the doors, whatever we want. So as I was saying, you can um, expand on this if you want. Uh, but for now, we're going to move back to the core concepts of Visual Basic. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next tutorial.